a Facebook post um, with a math puzzle um, that a lot of people are getting wrong. Um, a lot of common common problems here. Um, it's called uh, the problem is two times one plus six times six. Uh, first of all, I want to start out by saying that um, this problem follows the order of operations convention, and it's a convention for people all over the world to get the same answer to a problem. This isn't new math. It's not common core. Um, there's no new math versus old math. It's a structure. There's a structure to this convention, and it's been developed and started all the way back in the 16th century. It has its roots in the very first uh, books concerning algebra. And this isn't algebra, this is just simple math. Uh, but there's a lot of confusion and wrong assumptions about the use of order of operations. Uh, a lot of people will claim that they never heard of it or their teacher never taught it, but I guarantee everybody was born after the invention of hardcover textbooks, so it, that doesn't fly. Um, but this Conventions also known by a lot of different mnemonics and acronyms around the world. Uh, some of the acronyms that I'm familiar with are PEMDAS, BODMAS, BEDMAS, and BIDMAS. Uh, and these various uh, acronyms, they're not mnemonics. Well, there's the, the, the one mnemonic that I'm familiar with is called uh, Please Excuse My Dear Aunt Sally, which is a, a mnemonic for the acronym PEMDAS. Uh, and that refers those all refer to the same order of operations. So whether you know PEMDAS, BODMAS, BEDMAS, or BIDMAS, they all refer to the same four steps of order of operations. And um, so the convention has these four steps. The first step is parentheses, which are nothing more than grouping symbols. It means that anything inside of those parentheses, you're going to look at the order of operations inside of those parentheses before you look at anything else. Uh, then the second thing is exponents. Um, now, some people, uh, depending on where you're from, that might be orders, uh, that might be indices. Um, I think some people refer to it as powers of. Uh, a lot of times I'll see people quote Bodmus and they'll say, uh, oh, yeah, brackets of division, multiplication, addition, subtraction. When they're saying of, they're really meaning powers of. Uh, that always kind of confused me. But uh, number two is exponents. Now, the thing to keep in mind is if you don't have parentheses, you don't have exponents, the next thing is multiplication or division left to right. So in this problem, it's really simple. We don't, we, we're starting with multiplication. We don't have any division. Um, and then the fourth and last step is solving addition or subtraction uh, from left to right. <clears throat> um, yeah, and there's also this big myth that order of operations doesn't apply when uh, we are missing parentheses. Uh, I misspelled there. I've got we are run together, but missing parentheses. Um, that's not true. Um, that's a myth. Multiplication is repeated addition. So it therefore, it's got priority over addition and subtraction. Um, Subtraction is just the addition of a negative number. It's the same thing. There's really no difference between addition and subtraction. So, you know, also when we're talking about doing addition and subtraction from left to right, it really doesn't matter if you do the subtraction first, the addition first, the addition first, subtraction. They're the same thing. Um, division is equivalent to multiplication. You're, you're basically, division is the same thing as multiplying by a reciprocal, you know, one over a number. So, therefore, your multiplication and division also have equal precedence. And then your exponents, you can think of those exponents like 5 to the second power is an example. Uh, I don't have it drawn out, but 5 to the second power is the same thing as 5 times 5. Or you've got something like 5 to the fifth power where you use that little superscript, 5 to the 5th power is the same thing as 5 times 5 times 5 times 5 times 5. So what's easier to write, 5 to the 5th power or 5 times 5 times 5 times 5 times 5? Well, you know, it's pretty, pretty obvious. So exponents are just simple shorthand for repeated addition, or 
I'm sorry, repeated multiplication. So in that case, exponents have precedence over multiplication and division. So you start to, oh, hopefully you're starting to see the hierarchy here and why it is the way that it is. The parentheses are nothing more than grouping symbols. They don't change the order of operations. The order of operations is always multiplication or division left to right. Uh, and then your, I'm sorry, your exponents, first of all, if you have any, then your multiplication or division left to right, then your addition or subtraction left to right. All the parentheses are doing is saying, hey, I want you to look at that order of operations inside of here first. But you don't throw out order of operations if you don't have parentheses. That, that's got to be one of the biggest myths I've ever seen. So in this problem that we've got, we don't have parentheses. Number two, there are no exponents. Number three, we're going to start with multiplication because we don't have division. And then we're going to finish here with addition. So when we look at this problem, we have 2 times 1 plus 6 times 6. Well, 2 times 1 is easy, right? That's 2. 6 times 6 is 36. So we did the multiplication. Now let's add up the result. 2 plus 36 is 38. So um, if you want to confirm it on a calculator, I know it says not to use one, but a lot of people do. And a lot of people are going, oh, it's 48 because my calculator said so. And I'll tell you why that is, because they're using the standard mode on a computer, or they're using something from the Dollar Tree or the bargain bin. They're using a cheap calculator that doesn't have enough memory in it to keep track of more than the one operation. It's basically keeping track of what your last operation is in, in the problem. And it can't, it can't handle multiple operations. So it has, it's a memory thing. Um, I don't even know why they just don't make the calculator scientific other than, I guess, some of these symbols on this uh, keypad might confuse people. So, But you got to make sure if you're using your computer, the screenshot's showing the scientific mode. And sure enough, the answer is 38 because the scientific mode in the a Windows PC understands order of operations. Now, don't use the standard mode calculator on your computer, and I believe on almost every Windows computer, that's the default. You actually have to go up there and click on the little the three lines here, the three horizontal lines to the left of the word standard, and you have to select scientific. Um, and so what's happening is it's going through, and the only thing that it's figuring at the end is saying 8 times 6 is 48. So that's calculating the problem wrong because it can't keep track of everything. It's the same thing as if you were hitting enter uh, after every operation on, on, a, on a scientific computer, basically. Um, so uh, that's completely wrong. So another way to look at it here again, once again, like I said before, multiplication is shorthand for addition. You could... Um, you could replace all of the multiplication with addition and dumb it down. You're still going to get the same answer. So how do we do that? Well, two times one. What does that equal? That you're saying I'm giving, I'm adding one twice, right? One plus one. Six times six is the same thing as writing out six plus six plus six plus six plus six plus six. Now, if you add that all up, you're going to get 38, which is the same thing. Um, as when we followed order of operations. Um, you know, why? Because, like I say, 2 times 1 is the same as 1 plus 1, 6 plus 6. 6 times 6 is the same as adding 6 6 times. So this is why. And, um, you know, this is a universal standard. It's worldwide. Um, you know, I haven't put the screenshots in here. I've got textbooks that go back to the 1950s that explain this. Um, I've got one from William Hart, and I can't remember the other author, author from 1913, and I've got a picture of that where, you know, it's also stating that, hey, multiplication division, you know, needs to be solved before addition and subtraction. So this is, isn't a new concept, but um, I hope this was helpful. Thank you.